Welcome. Um, this morning I'm going to show you how to make a radio antenna. We all battle sometimes with the reception. Uh, just an external antenna. Uh, first uh, you go and you cut yourself a piece of wood. A little block like this or whatever. Whatever you have. Then you go and you measure the size of your coax cable. It's a coax cable. This one is like um, 7 millimeters diameter. Then you drill a hole in there. Push it through here. And then we're going to skin it quickly here. I just take the, the outside off here. Is it? And then you separate the screen. This is a screen. You'll see this. There's like a wire, a screen harness, and a piece of fully. We're only going to use the wires because the fully you is very fragile. You can't actually use it. You must cut it off. And then you make sure there's no wire sticking out. Then you gonna cut off the center. That's it. Now you're gonna bend this over like this. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna put this one the screen in one hole and the center in one hole. Uh, what's going in here it is um, the length of one uh, quarter wave length. One size is let me just put it here and you can see it is uh, for, for cent centimeters is 75 centimeters uh, inches 29 inches it's just 75 uh, 20, 29 and a half inch you're going to cut off two wires uh, two uh, small uh, rods you can use like normal uh, metal or you can use what works normally work nice is a, a brazier rod this is a brass a brazier rod so this will also work nice and it bends like a, uh, I'm going to cut myself two of these um, just like a three two three millimeter uh, iron rod then you cut them exactly the length uh, 75 centimeters and you bend the this, the front end so that you can push it inside the holes there. You measure it and you drill two holes. Uh, leave a little extra for the wire to go in there. Then we're going to put some tape around here or glue gun. Okay, now let's bend this here. Um, you're going to go like this. You bend this over there. And it's going to go in there. And this one is going in here. That's it. Now you can see it looks like this. So this uh, the center of the screen cable is in one hole and the screen in the other hole. Now you take one of this sizes and you push it in there. You make contact with your center part it must doesn't be too loose at least my contact eh? and the other side let's first take some tape uh, take some black uh, mass electrical tape or you can use a glue gun uh, use a glue gun you can put some glue gun in there but you can put it in if you want I just want to put some tape around here quicker. Just to keep it there. Just to hold it. See, there's one side fixed. Now we're going to do the other side. Let's go in there. <coughs> Some tape around here. Yeah. 
that's it. See, now you have a, a little block of wood with your color cable through and with the two antennas. I just want to get the pliers here, just to cut off the excess here. Okay, when we finish, we just take your glue gun and you just you can only glue these things here. Make all that dry. Um, then we're gonna. Now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you. The side of the radio, what you do, how to connect it there by the radio. The radio here is my radio, um, like a relatively old style radio. I'm going to open it in the back here. To see, this is the, the broken off antenna, the place where the antenna were. Um, I'm going to open this and I'm going to connect the antenna in the back here. Righto, um, you see this is open here, yeah? here's the, you can quickly to find the, locate the previous antenna mounting where the wire is connected, you unsolder it there and then uh, for, you're going to use the screen of your cable uh, on the negative of the battery or the negative of your supply and the center of the coax cable is going to come here. First, I need to make a hole here yeah, into the wood here. I'm going to drill a hole to let the uh, coax cable go through there. Okay, um, I've got my, my coax ready. I uh, cut again to separate this, the center from the screen. And I'm going to put it through this hole here. Yeah. Where the antenna is, I somehow remove the old broken antenna and then it's, it's good enough for the cable to go through there. Now, when I desolder, there's your antenna wire, I'm going to solder the center there. But now, for the, for the screen, um, if you look, there's no batteries in this unit. As I said, you use the screen on the negative part, your negative pole of your battery, but there's a power supply. It is a 220 volt. Um, the best way to locate it, if I can just get the focus here. Uh, if you see, here is the, 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 the transformer and the AC, uh, the low voltage comes in here. You go, normally go and you can find the, the, the rectifier on your PCB. As you see, it's normally a, there is the, the incoming AC, there is your rectifier bridge, your four diodes. So let me get some more light here. Uh, your rectifier bridge and you see there is a big capacitor. Uh, this is normally your, uh, yeah there is a capacitor, there is your, your smoothing cap. So there is your rectifier bridge smoothing cap. Now the smoothing cap sits just on the other side. Of, of the DC where the AC been rectified to DC and you just go and you get the negative part of the capac capacitors that with a line there and you go and, and go in the, in the back side of your, your PCB and you see and you allocate it see there's the, the the negative part of your capacitor I'm going to solder the negative the screen wire to that part and you just go and get some solder here Uh, the negative part is all always also the it's like the bigger the plane of the on the PC board the big parts is normally for for noise that they do it they the negative part you can somehow get a place there you'll see the track there's no track there it's just, just solder on the big plane so I'm going to solder this uh, wire extra wire on here.
can see <coughs> there is your the negative on there and I'm gonna just connect it to the coax cable here try to stay away from the transformer don't put your antenna through here because there's normally a uh, noise here you'll pick up noise from the magnetic side of the um, effect of the transformer now you take your cable through here and go like this so I put my cable now through here <coughs> there's your coax cable Then you just go and cut the wire short here. Cut the wire short there. We sold it here again. Gonna thin that all the ends here. So this wire, if it won't solder, <coughs> it is because the fact that it, it is made uh, not copper, maybe silver or something, or a kind of um, material that doesn't solder easily. I guess then you just have to <coughs> wind it around and put some small connector block yeah uh, here's a small connector block they just cut it in half so it's all here it's a tiny connector block you put it one side there So that's just funny, there's a, that material, the screen wire, you can't solder on it. That's it, the thing is, it's connected block. And then this, this old antenna wire. You just, just make sure you cut a new PC. Twist it. Turn it, solder, blow it and it's dry. You see, there's the connection now. The ground, so I say the ground on the negative part of the supply. The screen and the center to the antenna. We get some hot glue and we glue this antenna in here. Doesn't come out. And let's just dry a bit and then. Um, let's put it back. Put some glue in here also. Righto, uh, everything is back together again. Switch it on. Works nicely. You just hang up your antenna there by the curtains or windowsill. Uh, then you get nice reception and there you have it. Till next time, cheers.